Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new. Today we are going to be doing a review of the Chiku Hoto and Beautylish Fuji Maki, Fuji Maki collection or Fuji Maki. Um, I'm not totally sure. I might mispronounce some stuff in here. I still don't know how to say Sakoho or Saikoho. I still don't know how to say the kind of goat hair um, from when I did my Sonya G video. I have not learned. I tried to look up a pronunciation and I couldn't find one. So if anyone knows, let me know in the comments below. But just to let you get a look at these brushes. If my camera doesn't focus, which it often doesn't, um, I will just include a picture from the um, the Beautylish website because the um, handles and just like the presentation of these is very beautiful. Um, it has this kind of electric blue handle. They are made out of wood um, and then it has the this painting on it of some it looks like clouds around Mount Fuji um, in silver and gold and it says Beautylish X Chikuhoto right there but you kind of can't see it because the little gold goes in front of this. They are hand painted. They are very beautiful. This is why I was drawn to them. I definitely did not need <laughs> all these brushes in my collection, but I am a bit of a collector with things like this. Um, the last time these came into stock, they were a 2018 holiday set. Um, so around December and they sold out like instantly and they came back and I panicked because I have this like insecurity with cosmetic products that I think will sell out and I bought them and I looked and there I bought them like four days ago five days ago and they are still for sale so I feel a little silly <laughs> and like my panic was a little unnecessary but nonetheless they are a beautiful addition to my collection um I am trying to get kind of more comfortable with wearing lipstick lately so I am wearing this very bold red this is Merlot from Dose of Colors um if I look delusional I apologize um I initially put on their pinky promise and I that was just like too much for me you can see here where I viciously scraped it off with my microfiber washcloth um but anyways neither here nor there um, today we are going to be reviewing these brushes. I got these brushes, well I ordered these brushes on April 30th, um, very early in the morning probably because those tend to be my hours of operation <laughs> is from about 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Um, so I believe I order them, I don't know, probably impulsively at like 2 a.m. as I do. They, um, they shipped later that day in the more reasonable hours of the day on April 30th and they arrived in my mailbox two days later on May 2nd. I ordered these through Beautylish. As far as I know that is the only retailer because it is a I guess collab, I don't know what to call it, between Beautylish and um, Chiku Hodo. They are currently still in stock as I said. Um, so. No rush. So this set is, like I said, only sold at Beautylish, currently in stock. Let me get out my notes. And I will show you the packaging that they shipped in. It's typical Beautylish packaging. I took a picture of it um, with the Beautylish box inside of the cardboard box and then the butcher paper with the little ties. They have really cute packaging. They're always really good with shipping. I I just love Beautylish and they have great customer service. Um, I really enjoy ordering from them. I enjoy every experience I've had so far. Um, and then inside of the Beautylish box, inside the box, inside of the butcher paper was this Chiku Hodo box. It's silver. It says uh, Makeup Brush Collection Chiku Hodo by Tesh. I'm not even going to try. Um, it comes with a like little card of how to care for your brushes. It says to wash them no more than once a month. So mine are going to be kind of dirty in this video. I've just been wiping them off on my microfiber cloth after I use them to get most of the residue off. Um, it has a little guide of how to use all the different brushes, their recommendations. And then it also came with this brush holder. Let me show you guys. It's a, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but it, it works. It's this kind of pearlescent white uh, leather feeling. I don't think it's actual leather. Okay, it doesn't actually say on Beautylish what this is made out of. I don't know if it's vegan or not. It does say the brush set is cruelty-free, though. Um, even though it's made out of natural hair, they, like, 
it's all very very bougie they like comb the hair off of the goats and then use it to put together brushes they are handmade um so i i don't know if the cruelty free includes this I, it doesn't feel like it i don't think it's actual leather it doesn't smell like leather at all it smells like it smells like like a purse i had when i was like four years old like a patent leather purse or something um but anyways so they do all fit in there uh not the roomiest but cute little little thing I don't helpful if you use these kind of things I don't really because most of my nice brushes I don't tend to travel with and they just stay displayed in here but if you want it it's it's a nice little perk um so like I said you do get four brushes the set is a hundred and ninety five dollars um and they are all Sokoho goat hair you get a powder brush a contour brush a foundation brush and an eyeshadow brush those are what they call the brushes those are the descriptions um so I'm going to get into, I have been using these for four days now. I've used them with various different kinds of products. Um, I've been exclusively using these just to see where they work best, what products I like them best with, and to give you guys my review of them. So I would normally use them for a little bit longer, but my mom is coming into town tomorrow, so I don't think I'll have time to make a video, and I wanted to get this out. So I, I do feel like I have a pretty comprehensive idea of what I like these for, what I don't like about them, and I can share my opinions with you guys. First brush here is the powder brush. Um, this is a tapered brush. I will say the hair on all of these is very, very soft. It's not as soft as like my ridiculously expensive Chiku Hoto um, MKMO Blue Squirrel brush, but it's more, it's still soft, but I, goat hair tends to be more of like the workhorse. It's a little bit coarser. It's not coarse by any stretch of the imagination but it's not as like fine like this would be like trying to clean your bathroom with like i don't know a, a dish sponge versus trying to clean your bathroom with like a strand of silk like so this is going to do more of the heavy duty whereas this is just more kind of nice very light very um just a very light application to it um so these look nothing alike in shape. I tend to use this one for all over powder on my face just because the distribution that it does is so light. Um, this I would not, I tried using it for all over powder, it worked fine. This is just isn't the shape that I, this is typically more for me, something I would use as a cheek shape more for contouring. Um, the brush I have that it is most similar to is my Wayne Goss 00, the holiday brush. As you can see though, the Wayne Goss, these are both Sokoho Goat hair the Chico Hoto feels a little softer and the Wayne Goss one comes to a little bit more of a point so this one is a little bit more precise for um, contouring or bronzing with it kind of just fits into the hollows of your cheekbone this is too it's just not as precise um, what I liked this the most for was bronzer I tried doing blush with it I tried doing all over powder I tried setting under my eyes with it I did not like the way that that looked don't do that please um I but with bronzer I was able to get a very beautiful and very diffused finish um I don't really contour too much I mostly just put bronzer up here under my cheekbones because I tend to have already pretty defined cheekbones and when I contour I just look very concerning um so but I did like this for that I like a more of a buffing motion so I prefer a brush that's like this shape or this is the Hakuhoto B206 by the way or like my Tom Ford um, 05 brush this is just more of like a dense kind of a thick top I just don't really like this tapered top for bronzer I just really prefer to buff it um, but if you do like this kind of shape of brush this is a perfectly and you don't need the precision of the holiday 00 if you just like a nice light little touch of bronzer on the cheeks you like to fit that in the contour of your cheek this is a fine brush very soft very beautiful finish that it gives it's just not the kind of brush that I tend to reach for still a beautiful brush though next brush that we have is the foundation brush. This is a strange one for me. I do not really have a brush like this in my collection. It is so small. Like, 
to compare, the closest thing I have, honestly, is like my Morphe um, M439 because this is more of a brush that I would use because of the shape for buffing um, as opposed to like just kind of moving the foundation around. Um, it is very densely packed, but like to compare the circumference of the two, like this is much smaller. Um, I don't really like it <laughs> like I do like I, it's something I need to get more used to um because I am just used to using a brush like this to like get big areas of the face or sometimes I don't even want to show you guys this Wayne Goss brush because it is just it needs to be washed it needs some TLC right now but this is the Wayne Goss 10 this is um, more of a stippling brush so I'll use this and then go over it with a buffer or a beauty blender but this was just strange to me just the size of it um you can get it is very good at buffing out foundation um it's very dense you the only thing is that because I am used to using a bigger brush I had to like really double check my face because I would like miss areas like I'm just not used to using it's not used to using something so precise to do my foundation with so I would really have to double check I also noticed a lot of peel uh, like pilling under my foundation um I assume it was probably like skincare products that I've used because god knows I there is a lot that goes on my face before foundation I just I hadn't noticed that when I was using other methods of applying foundation so I don't know if it because is because ugh, I don't know if it's because this brush is so dense that um you like it's just like kind of really bringing up my skincare products underneath my foundation however I didn't have a problem when I would see them pulling up I would just kind of buff over it harder this is like an intense buffing brush like it doesn't look like it it just looks like a little like q-tip but it, it can buff the crap out of anything so I would just buff the like pilling that was happening and then it would blend or like come off and it would look fine um the product that I like this most with is like a thick matte foundation. Um, I liked it with my Tarte face tape. That one's not really thick but it's more of a full coverage matte foundation. I liked it with my Morphe which I tried yesterday and I still love. I know that nobody will ever agree with me on the face of the earth about this but I think that foundation is beautiful and I don't understand why everybody hates it. It looks so good on me and it stays indefinitely until I wash it off I just have to say it one more time I sometimes I just feel like I'm going nuts because I think that's a beautiful foundation um, but I found that it worked better with those than like my more um, medium coverage kind of dewy more lightweight foundations um, like my Kogan Doe and my Giorgio Armani I I mean it's fine it does the job but I think because it is such an intense buffer it tends to kind of wipe those away a little more and I found myself having to like reapply more and more and more. I do like the performance this best on a full coverage matte foundation where you really need that intense buffing to get it to look um, even and not cakey and nice. Um, but once you get it all like squared away like it I have had a beautiful finish every day with this brush I have not had cakiness here um, it's just been a very even distribution all around my face I, I really like it it's just it kind of takes a little bit of getting used to I also really like this brush for cream quant contouring what I don't know why I just spontaneously developed a, like a Boston accent I I'm so sorry <laughs> um, it fits like right it kind of reminds me of the same way this K Kat Von D number no. five cream contour brush I mean they're like are pretty different looking brushes however they fit they are both very like concentrated bristles and they both kind of fit in my cheekbone in like not in my cheekbone but like underneath in a similar way and you can just kind of drag that bra that product that product just drag that bra just up just I I don't know I'm tired I'm sorry <laughs> and just drag that product up and because it is so dense it's good for that I did not really like this for cream bronzer that much or cream blush just because I felt like I was kind of chasing the product around because it can move it so much because it is so dense also I did not like this at all for my concealer um just so you know it's I 
it, it completely buffed my concealer off. I had to like reapply concealer and I don't even like the most minimal amounts of concealer so I rarely ever put two coats on. I prefer like a more like a brush with some more give for my, con my concealer. This is the It Cosmetics Airbrush Concealer Brush just because then I can kind of move it and then if I need to apply more pressure I can kind of buff it in but this just kind of like took it off my face. Next brush I have is the, this is actually described as their contour brush. I like this best for blush. I think this looked really pretty with my blush. Um, to compare it, I tried to set my under eye with this one as well because I thought it was kind of a similar shape to my Wayne Goss 02 which is my favorite for setting under the eyes. However, this is squirrel hair and as we discussed, squirrel hair is a much lighter application for setting under the eyes when I use this under my eye I like barely even notice it's there my concealer just stays and it's slightly more matte um this I did not like this is too heavy for the under eye I like it better for blush I it was okay for bronzer um for contouring along there but I just blush is what I like this best for I tried it for highlighter also and I didn't find I had enough control um this is my favorite highlight brush at the moment it's my Hakuhodo B these numbers wear off so quickly B5521 um, as you can see it's much smaller this one is a mix of blue squirrel and goat um so it doesn't I don't know I tried to use the couple little highlighters and I just found it was kind of everywhere and was a bit much whereas this is going to be definitely a lot more precise preci uh, precision application of more precise application of the highlighter as well as a little more softer on the um application but you can also still that you still have those goat hairs in there to kind of be the workhorse and buff it out so this i liked best for blush i wasn't honestly super blown away by it my favorite blush brush at the moment where is it is my Sonia G Cheek Pro i also really like this for bronzer even though i said i like bigger brushes for bronzer typically like i just love this brush I love it and it's splaying out a little bit and that's my fault um but I can't wait for her whole like face collection to come out because this I swear to god I never even saw any of my blushes until I use this like I've just been using MAC peaches and it like barely shows up and I'm just like whatever that's what it looks like um and then I put it on with this and I was like oh that's what my blush looks like. I don't know. I just love this one so much. So this is my absolute favorite. This, this is good. Not the best. And then the last brush, which is actually my favorite brush of the whole kit, is the eyeshadow brush. Um, this, again, Sokoho Goat Hair. Um, kind of a like a paddle slightly tapered at the top I would consider this a blending brush just because of its shape my two most similar brushes are my Sonia G worker pro and my Wayne Goss 18 brushes and I'll just put those all next to each other for comparison these two the Sonia G and the Wayne Goss um, I would say this is most similar to the Sonia G, but these two tend to have a little bit more give to them, um, whereas this one is very densely packed. Um, so this is a little bit more of like an intense application. Inten I find that I like this best for packing shimmer onto my eyelid um, and even packing along the crease and then I can blend it out. It tends to be slightly too dense for me for blending out, um, but... It, you can basically, I for the last four days, this is the only eyeshadow brush I have used for all parts of my eye, like transition, crease, packing, shimmer, everything. It works for everything. It's a really good um, eyeshadow brush. I did not expect to be that impressed with this because I already have like several similar shapes, but this is just different. The way that it performs, it can be used as both a packing and a um, blending brush and just the density of it and everything is it's it's really nice <laughs> I this is the one that I was most blown away by and this was the one that I was least excited about to get in the set all in all would I say that this kit is worth it to buy um no I don't know it's a beautiful kit they all perform really well um but other than like 
if you are a collector and you want this kit because it's beautiful, which is kind of the same reason that I wanted it, and you like Chiku Hodo brushes and you like Beautylish and you want to support them and you think that these brushes are absolutely gorgeous, I say go for it. Um, if it's within your budget, which it wasn't within my budget, so I probably shouldn't have gone for it, but you should if you want to. Um, however, if you're just looking for, like, you want to get into, like, nice makeup brushes, or you're looking for a set that kind of does everything and, like, it performs really well, I don't know if I would recommend this. I think you'd be better off with one of the Sonya G or the Wayne Goss sets. These, like, they all did the job. Like, they all were good but none of them are like the brushes that I would grab for out of my whole collection. They're, they'll do the job but they're not my first choice and for the price I think you'd be better off maybe picking out individual brushes that work for your specific needs, shapes that you like, uh, shapes that you know work with your face and your skin, types of hair that you like. Hakuhodo USA has like a massive inventory um, of all different hairs and all different shapes and all different handles and all different kinds of brushes. Chiku Hodo has a ton of brushes you can choose from. Beauty Lush has a ton of great brushes, tons of reviews. There's just I think you would be better off picking things that work especially for you because just as a set I'm just not super I'm not like this is all I need I'll take this everywhere I think this is the best I think it's beautiful I'm happy to display it and happy to have it I don't regret buying it I do think it's very pretty I also um I forgot to mention this these were a lot lighter than I thought they would be like it almost feels as if the handles are hollow or something and I don't like that when I'm paying this much money for brushes I want like heavy I want it to feel expensive in my hand and these just kind of like I don't know it just almost feels like plastic to me I don't know I just don't like it um but yeah that's how I feel about these brushes um they are very beautiful they do perform I have yet to find a Chico Hoda brush that performs badly I just I tend to like their brushes for the most part they make good brushes just for me this whole this set as a whole I am just kind of like eh. unless these are all unless you look at these and these are shapes that you reach for that you feel you need in your collection that are missing like or shapes you already have but you want to upgrade and find like a higher quality version then by all means go for it but in my opinion as a set yeah so I hope that was helpful if you were at all considering buying them um and that's it I hope you guys have a lovely week weekend night day whenever you're watching this and thank you so much for watching um be sure to tune in next time and like and subscribe and yeah I'll see you guys later Mwah.